Okay, so my vision with the Mormon Helping Hands Day is to show the community that we care about them and that we love them and that we want to be a part of the community. And so by bringing in all the volunteers, then we're able to show them that, hey, we want to help out and be a part of you and your community, not just, we don't just take care of our own, we take care of everyone that needs it. Stacy contacted me what, about four or five weeks ago maybe yeah. with the idea um, of helping clear some of the area adjacent to our school. Um, we have a fairly large grass area and, and play area and then the fence line and just beyond that fence line there's a lot of overgrowth um, vegetation and it's, it's a safety issue for me when I look at that and we um, did have a recommendation from the sheriff's department that we should clear that area also alongside of our fence and so she called me absolutely because the manpower it's hard to come by to get it done so here we are yay yeah. <laughs> very excited I know my children students and teachers were thankful that your group came out today and, and helped us out I, I'm very amazed and impressed with the number of volunteers today it's only 9.30 in the morning and so much has been already accomplished. So it takes all of us to support one another and sometimes get things done. At the end of the day, I want to see a beautiful South Lane County Park that is all that, all the brush has been cleared down, that the horse arena has been put back together so that the community can use it again for their horse community events, as well as having the horse trail reconstructed and the water re-diverted so it doesn't wash it out again. Um, being more fire safe at the end so that the local residents don't have to worry about if a brush fire were to start here then it, it wouldn't go anywhere because of everything would be proper fire ordinance to keep it safe. And then of course to have the school happy is a, another big goal because we want the sheriff's department as well as the local families to be safe you know, and to work together. So that was definitely a big concern of the sheriff's department. They've had safety issues already from the overgrowth of the brush and people hiding in there and dumping things in there and causing problems. So that was a big concern. So now they won't be able to do that. It'll be very clear and open and everyone will be able to see and law enforcement will be able to do their job as well. Hello, my name is Rex Grizzle and I'm presently serving as the first counselor in the Elkhorn State Presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I'm happy to share my observations concerning Mormon Helping Hands this year. Uh, it was a phenomenal event. Um, as we all know, it's a priesthood-sponsored event that's uh, planned and directed by a stake public affairs committee. 
our particular State Public Affairs Committee consists of uh, Director of Public Affairs Stacy McGoffin. Uh, she has an assistant, Shireen Touche, uh, who serves in the area of uh, media relations, and a, an assistant, Peggy Anderson, in community relations, as well as an assistant, Sherry Lutz, who is in the area of community relations. We also have Kevin Jordan on our State High Council. So those are the people as well as myself as the state presidency representative who who organized and and helped to uh, uh, get this event organized for for today so we had a tremendous uh, turnout of stake members we had a, I believe 150 to 160 of us here uh, the amount of work that was accomplished was phenomenal it uh, started out with brush everywhere, overgrown, and uh, by the time we had left, it uh, is in the state that you see it now, which is much more beautiful. And uh, so I, I feel that like we accomplished what Mormon Helping Hands' purpose is, which is to, uh, to beautify our communities, to help with disaster relief, and uh, we certainly help beautify this South Lane Park and the community of Crest in, in our Elkhorn State boundaries. I'm thankful for my membership in the Church of Jesus Christ and I'm thankful for the opportunity that I had to participate with my fellow stake members in, in providing service to this, uh, in this uh, beautiful park, the South Lane Park. Thank you.